Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Stories Untold. I know it's a four part episode thing, so I'll be going to start with obviously number one, but I've had this for a little while. I wanted to check it out finally, and I thought now would be a good time. Let's uh, give it a shot. The house abandoned. All right. Sometimes may need to look beyond the screen. What? Cool. Oh, total 85. Interesting. That one key's on the side of the... <laughs> the house of Ben. I don't like the drill. Stories untold. Okay. I'm into it already. <laughs> oh. oh, weird. What does that say? What do I do? I gotta do something? The keyboard? Oh, oh, it's a text game. You pull it to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all the time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. All right, uh, do I just type now? Look in glove box. Oh, <laughs> blocks. <laughs> box. The glove box is close. Okay, open glove box. Inside is a key and a hidden right note from dad. You take both. Uh, read note. I love these keys. These are fun. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's all in your room. Enjoy. All right, uh... Oh, enter to continue. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday. Okay. I already know this. Okay. Open car door. <laughs> All right. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. The yard stretches around the side of the house. Go around the house. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use the, a key. But I didn't say use the door. Okay. Use key on door. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. I just use the key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Open door. You step inside the front door. All right. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Click the switch. I don't know what you're trying to use. Uh, turn on the light switch. Click and nothing. There's no power. The notion say how to restore it. I wanted you out back. Go outside. He sits outside the front door. All right. Uh, go out back. Oh, back behind the house. Uh, be find house. Oh my god, that's it. Oh. Oh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> the yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Uh, there's 
there it is. Okay, thank you. Oh, wow. All right. Turn on. Put the generator on, and it works to life. The house is still dark. Okay. Go inside the house. You walk? What? Why was your dot 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 dot? Hmm. Weird. Okay. Go inside. Alright, turn on the light switch. There we go, we have power. Pooh, that took me a long time. You have no idea. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Alright, um... Go check out the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy, well kept. There is a door to a vitally... Vitality... Oh, utility! <laughs> utility room, but otherwise, it is just a kitchen. Let's just make sure. Very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Alright. Go back to the hallway. Alright. Let's go check out the living room. Step inside the living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of time, good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Let's look around. There's nothing here of interest. All right. Let's go upstairs. Check out our room. What our dad put up there from the attic. Go up the stairs. You walk up the stairs to the landing. The stairwell landing, there is a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the wall, images of happy times. Let's check out the bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's, but it's all in good order. All right, let's just look around and see if there's anything weird. I think it's clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Ooh, let's look in the mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. <laughs> All right. So they did actually add something. That's nice. All right. Uh, go back to the landing. I could. I almost forgot what it was called. Yeah, that would have been bad. All right. Let's uh, let's look at the pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. All right, let's check out our... I'm trying to put my room to, like, the last option, so I'm going to check out my sister's room. Which is weird, but all right. Oh, yeah, I probably should say go in. Not what I intend to do. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you've seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful, colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. All right, cool. Uh, let's just look around. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Open the wardrobe. It's empty. Apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Ooh. Look at photo. Yeah, photographs. They're all identical. Forest road at night. You put them back. Weird. Okay. Go back to the landing. Why would she have pictures of a road? 
at night. Okay, so let's go to our room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Okay. Let's just look around first. It's a standard bedroom. A desk. Wood grain TV. The usual. Alright. Cool. Alright. Uh, go... Two. I'm sorry, I don't understand. All right, let's just I, I open. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. That has found your old computer. A feature 128K plus two has been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Wait. I'm doing this now, but I'm pl playing a game about it. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. Oh, yeah, okay. On your desk is a fut Futuro 128K plus 2 computer, and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. Oh, what do I do? Um... Start the copy of the house abandoned. Okay, um, turn, turn, turn. Wait. Okay, I gotta set it up. Set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Look at game. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. <laughs> I've never once in my life said ace. But okay. Uh, play The House Abandoned? What's it called? Ba yeah, Abandoned. I don't know what you're hmm. Okay. Uh, insert game. Okay. Well, turn on. All right, now what do I do? Here's all set up, ready to go. There's a game here too. Start game. Ah, there we go. You put the consent into the computer and press play. Oh! Well, that's not normal. What did that say? Did that say get something? He pulled to the driveway of the family holiday home and parked the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Um... Besides the key and hit and write a note from Dad, you take them both. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out of the car. Okay. I thought I was actually going to do it. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy members are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay, um... Let's assume I gotta turn the generator on again. So... Let's 
also... Oh no, what did I say the first time? Oh, this might take me a minute. Okay, step through the debris. Okay. Grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There's an old generator next to you. Alright. Start generator. Oh. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. You go back to the front of the house. Oh, the eyes are crossed off on the pictures now. So weird. What's going on? All right. Um, go to the door. Oh, okay. Um, open. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Use key on the door. The door appears to be locked. You'll use key. There we go. We unlock the door. I click the lock. Hurts to hear. Okay. You reluctantly will a pitch black, but your senses are punished by more by the smells, stale air, air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Okay, uh... Turn on the light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Light flickers on and off and the walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are... Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock is blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Read the note. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it... Okay. Turn off. Alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. It should not be here. There is a kitchen, a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. All right, go in the kitchen. You go in the kitchen. The kitchen stinks. It feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted in metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, it must be paint. It feels like the note. Open the utility room door. The door is locked, thank God. I can't get in there. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Go back to the hallway. Step back in the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Ew. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Okay. I'm going to go to the living room now. Go to the living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay, so it changes in each room. I should have read it in the kitchen, which is probably too late now. Go to 
hallway. Alright, let's go upstairs. Wait, why does the clock say 9999? Usually zeros. Anyway. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. The same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Your room. You have the door. The phone starts ringing. You don't understand. Neither can he. Neither can he? Answer. Phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Same but different. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go into our sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. What? Remove ports. Okay, I guess we can't go in there. Uh, go in the bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Okay. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. You can't bear to look at yourself. Okay. Oh, man. You sit back on the landing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look around in here. I forgot to do that this time. And yes, I'm totally pulling off going into my room. Wouldn't you? The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall. All misaligned. The pictures are of your family. Eyes have been scored out on all. Okay. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Nine 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 nine. Okay. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. I didn't think that'd work. All right. Uh, wait. We've never looked at the note in the bathroom. I don't think. Did we? I don't think we did. The note is impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. Uh, what's the sister's sister's room? I get that. All right, uh. 
We go back down the stairs. Maybe I should look at the carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Alright. Uh. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Did I look around in here? I don't remember. Look around. Oh, there's something writing on the wall that looks like in blood. Uh. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Well, we have the code now. Oh, now it's on the... It's on the wall now. Okay. We won't forget it. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to our room. Oh, I remember what I typed in to hit the... Pick up the lock. Oh, uh, there. Uh, grab the lock. Oh, what did I put in? Um, there, enter code, that worked. Why is this a key? Why do I still have a key in my hand? Wait, can I look at the note here? The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the door. Do it, do it go, okay. Alright, we're going. Alright, uh, 1986. Same but different. Go in my room. The door is closed. <laughs> Open my bedroom door. Go in my room. Your bedroom feels utterly familiar. The... Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for a shadow. Okay. Now the walls are damp. But you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of the old of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads nine 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 nine. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt my every step I take. Even in this place, it was out of my hands. But still, you punish me. I wish I could be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End it now? You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. Um, it was all my fault. I don't believe you. <laughs> like, you mean it. Please. Um, it was all my It was all my fault. Say it. I did. No. <laughs> It was all my in finally. Oh, 
Okay. I... <laughs> I love that. That was great. Um, there's gonna be three more. Um, yeah, that was a lot better than I thought it was. I got stuck in the front of the house, but otherwise, that was great. I enjoyed this one. It was fun. I like those text-based games. It's weirdly enough, I actually enjoy them. I didn't really play them too much, but the next one we'll be doing will be the Lab Conduct. Um, but we'll see that one tomorrow. But anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.